What up, Laker Nation? Today I want to get to a few things real quick. Um, Boston played New Orleans the other night. Anthony Davis had a big game. A couple of beat writers posed a question. Would you, if you Boston, would you trade um, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and and the Lakers pick for Anthony Davis? Some said uh, yes. Most said yes, they'd do it. And some was like, oh, you know, really, you know, hold want to hold back on Jason Tatum. But um, I just want to pose this question real quick because to me, when I listen to a lot of the guys and they talk about a lot of young talent in the league, I think a lot of our guys on our team get overlooked, our young talent. And um, I want to know who you, you guys take, while being biased, Laker fans, whatever. Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum or Brandon Ingram and, or Kyle Kuzma? Me personally, not being biased or anything like that, I think I'll take Ingram and Kuzma. I think they just bring a little more to the table, and I think that I think Ingram will probably be the best player out of all four of the guys. Um, he's super young, uh, he's athletic. It's a lot of things he, he, some little tweaks in his game I feel he could get better at, but, and also like Kuzma, I think he's the best shooter out of the uh, four guys. You know, the only knock between that little argument is Kuzma a little older than them guys, but Tatum, like I said, he's good. Um, Brown, he's good, he played hard. I think he definitely played with the most intensity out of, out of the four guys. But me personally, I have to take the Lakers guy. I think they're just a little edge better. Probably not right now, but also you have to um, keep in mind, Boston is right now more like a veteran. They're not old, but they pretty much ahead ahead of the game with the Lakers right now. And ain't uh, Tatum or uh, Jalen Brown don't have to do too much. They can just basically stay in their spots. But the Lakers, a lot of guys on their team, the young guys, they count on to be the best player on their team. So that's the difference between them right now. I think if we had like veteran guys like good veteran, not old veterans, but guys like, like Kyrie Irving level. Kyrie Irving, Paul George, them type of level type guys. And our guys could just fall in place. I think that they'd be doing similar the same thing. Well, better, I believe. So, um, you guys, I definitely want to know who would you take, Kuzma and Ingram or Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum? All right, so um, the Lakers lost to, to OKC tonight, so, you know, let's whatever with that. Um, now, I also want to know what you guys think. I was reading an article. I can't remember um, who was the writer, but they basically saying that the Lakers, if they don't um, get two free agents, if they get one, they're going to hold the money for the following year, 2019. And me personally, I'm not sure if I sit there and do that because I am getting a little impatient. And I think that there's enough guys out there that can get the job done, like filling out the roster. I said that to say this, I posed this um, you know, question to guys, what you guys think about this. Like, let's just say if we only get one guy, let's just say we get Paul George, for instance, and that's all we get. Would you, with the other 35 minutes, let's say we uh, plan on getting two, two from max free agents and we got rid of uh, Julius Randle, saying we got rid of Clarkson to open up the space. Now we have like 70 million in cap space, but we only was able to get one free agent, let's say Paul George, for instance, let's just say Paul George. With the other 35 million, to say we have 35, 37 million in cap space, would you roll that over to the following year, 2019, keep trying to get like a, another star player, or you fill out the roster with the um, 37 million? Me personally, like I said, I think I would uh, try to fill out the roster the best way I can. Because if you think like this, Lonzo's showing me a lot, like he's playing much better than and this with most young guys, period, a couple of seasons under their belt, always better. 
you better believe Ingram will be better next year. Lonzo will be better. Kuzma will be better. You know, Josh Hart. Different guys going to be better. That's just a given, pretty much. And I say, okay, a guy like Paul George come in and post his will and, you know, he'd be a 20-point scorer or whatever. Now, I say to fill out the roster, now, like, with 35 minutes, you could get, like, I think with these guys here, we could, we could just get it done and be, like, a, a top-level team in this league. Now, say at the center position, we get a guy like Norris Noel and a guy like Der Derek Favors, right? Noel's more of a defensive player. Favors play defense. You got solid offense. He can shoot the little jump, play athletic. He only like 26, 20, like 26 years old. And, and a guy like Noel who runs the floor, block shots at the center position. And this at the wing position, we pick up a guy like Will Barton. Another guy about 26, 27 years old, runs the floor, instant offense, can dribble, athletic. He plays solid defense, and and also in the guy like in the backcourt, the backup, a guy like Lonzo, a guy like Tyreek Evans. I think Tyreek Evans, to me, he got more of a point guard game. He's a really good passer, and um, Tyreek Evans or you know Corey Joseph or something like. But let's just say Tyreek Evans. Now, would you guys do that if we could get with uh, with the thirty five men to get uh, Tyreek Evans? Um, Will Barton, Derek Favors, and uh, Nerlens Noel. I I think I'd do that. And I th definitely think with the 35 men on that max, I definitely think that can happen. Because I don't see Noel getting any more than like six, six or seven men a year. Uh, Favors, maybe around that, maybe maxed out at 10, but I still see maybe around like eight men, uh, barting around seven, eight men, and and also Tyreek Evans. I, I still I think all them guys will get around that like seven, eight million dollars, and, and that's pretty much can can cover that. So I just think that give us depth, and and, and all the guys still in their 20s, 26, 27, you know. So I definitely. You know, Noel's only like 23, 24. So I definitely think that that'd be a way, another route to go. I don't think they should just be hell-bent on just getting two stars. They should just move away from that and let's start putting some winning basketball out there and get some good players. Because let's just say if we can't get them guys on six, seven, eight million dollar contracts, those is good contracts where if push comes to shove, we can't move them. Those not like bad contracts. As long as we stay with bad contracts, I'm fine with that. I just want to know what you guys think real quick. Um, definitely uh, give me, leave your comments about uh, what I said earlier about, you know, Ingram, Kuzman, and, you know, Tatum and Brown. And also about what you think about the free agent money we could have left over if we only get one max guy. Uh, leave a comment, Laker Nation. Follow me on Twitter. You know, subscribe. Peace out.